Welcome to Fancy Legends, my name's Scott, and today we're going to be going over my top 10 strongest monsters in Final Fantasy VIII. Please remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, it really does help out. Now let's get on with the video. At number 10 we have the T-Rexor, and it's um, one of the most powerful enemies that you get to see at the beginning of the game, and the fact that it's in the um, training room <laughs> tells you a lot about the school that Squall and the group go to. It does have incredible strength, however, just a tip for those of you that you don't know, it is weak against ice, and um, also the, the fact that it's susceptible to sleep, darkness, and in some cases instant death, but instant death you don't really have at that stage of the game, so um, I would concentrate more on the fact of its weakness to darkness, or um, its ice damage. At number 9 we have the Ocho, uh, this one you get to see near Timber, which is relatively early in the game. Uh, this enemy is weak against ice and fire damage and when tacked physically. So uh, just junction element J attack and normally you shouldn't have a problem. However, sometimes the elemental attacks, which is why it's on this list in the first place, can be a problem. Um, it can even remove uh, magic. Um, you can get around this, however with the element attack J junction. However, um, do be careful of its slowing curse because they can cause a lot of issues, especially early in the game. At number eight, we have one that needs no introduction, the Tomberry. Now, this enemy can be particularly um, harrowing in the game due to its everyone's grudge ability. However, to use this ability, it has to move forward five times. This gives you a chance in order to beat the enemy. One great strategy for defeating the Tomberry would be to use Demi from Diablos. Um, that's what I would suggest. And then that way you'd avoid the Tomberry's famous HP and defense that is quite formidable. At number seven, we have the Chimera. Now, this uh, deadly enemy has four heads, and each head has a separate attack. It's in most of the Final Fantasy games. However, in Final Fantasy VIII, it can be particularly dangerous. The lion head causes physical attacks, the lizard casts aqua breath, the hawk casts magic, and the snake tail inflicts status effects. Now, the best option, I would say, for this enemy is to use the Alexander Guardian Force, and um, as it's weak to holy, um, this should give you the upper hand. Moving on to number six, we have another Final Fantasy staple, and that is the Iron Giant. Now, this Iron Giant in Final Fantasy VIII can be a bit harrowing in terms of um, physical damage. The Iron Giant uses an attack called the Grand Sword that targets all party members. Um, when it loses about 50% of its HP later on in the battle, it then switches to a technique called Mighty Guard, which applies Shell and Protect on all its allies. This makes it particularly difficult to um, attack um, if you're mainly physically based. In terms of fighting the Iron Giant, I would recommend blinding him, as this one will make the fight a lot easier for you. Um, or you could use Quintus's Blue Magic, like something like Bad Breath that gives a lot of status um, ailments, as mainly the Iron Giant concentrates on physical damage rather than magical. Half the way through our list, at number five, we have the Malboro. Now, most people uh, hate this monster um, if through most of the Final Fantasy series, to be fair with you. The Malboro has the highest HP out of all of the normal monsters in the game. And what makes it particularly bad to fight is its bad breath technique, um, which can just wipe out your party if you don't have effective status uh, defences. The easiest way to counter bad breath, even though it is quite hard to um, obtain, is using a ribbon. Um, however, these are very rare treasures in the Chocobo world in the original game or in the remasters, the Angelo search, which they added into the game. At number four, we have the fearsome Red Dragon. Now, the Red Dragon you get to confront just before Bahamut in the uh, Deep Sea Research Centre. They are also encounters in the Centra Forests and in the island closest to Hell and Ultima Sia's castle. What can make the Ruby Dragon especially dangerous is the fact that it has a non-elemental breath attack and um, one of the only ways to um, negate this damage is using Protect which can halve the damage. 
A couple of things you could try against the Ruby Dragon is the fact that it's susceptible to sleep, which is always handy as that stops it attacking. Or you could try Demi, which um, obviously um, would negate its high defences. We finally reached our top three um, in Final Fantasy VIII Toughest Monsters. And at number three, we have Gugantua. Although an optional boss, it does allow the party to unlock one of their sealed abilities, so it's always handy to try to take on however it is a tough encounter. The problem with Gargantua is the fact that it uses the counter twist to counter any physical attacks used against it, and the fact that it can also inflict slow and curse at you, so it makes it very difficult. Gargantua can also use Silence and Berserk, so as you can imagine, the fact that it can use all those sort of stats effects makes it almost impossible to hurt, and you can't even use magic with the fact that of Silence there. However, what I would suggest is you could use Auto Haste, um, which would stop your party from being slowed, and also the fact that you could use Meltdown, as that would be effective against Gargantua. At number two, and no surprise here, we have Ultima Weapon. Now, this guy is a beast, to be honest with you. Um, the fact that he can use Light Pillar that inflicts 9999 damage on you, it should say everything. With Ultima Weapon, there's no point concentrating on your HP, as it can hurt 9999 damage, obviously, in one attack. So what I would suggest is you concentrate on your speed and um, ensuring that you get those attacks in as quick as possible to take him down. Auto haste will help with the speed quite a bit. You could also use Zell's um, Armageddon's Fist, as this will allow you to get a lot of attacks in before Ultimate Weapon even gets an attack on you. So we finally reached number one, and it is a Mega Weapon, the toughest boss that you'll ever face in Final Fantasy VIII. At level 100, it has over 1 million HP and can be devastating even if your party is correctly junctioned. Just running down a few of the abilities that it has will tell you how hard it is. It has level 5 death, um, meteor, non-elemental, gravager, ultima. It also has light pillar again, the same as um, ultima weapon. So you can see that it's almost impossible to beat. But added to that, it can also absorb all elements. So you can't even have an elemental attack against it. What I would suggest with this one is going through strategy guides. Um, I'm not going to go through it here as it would take um, way too long to explain in this video. However, what I would suggest you do is go online, have a look at the uh, videos or even some of the, uh, you know, guide, walkthrough guides that you can get for him um, as he literally is so difficult to beat. So that was my top 10 most difficult enemies in Final Fantasy VIII. What did you guys think of the list? Did you agree with me? Is there any you would add? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help me out. Thank you for listening.